This video will cover the basic install of parts of the ETS system. It will not cover wiring of end devices, which will be covered elsewhere. The EIM or EMIT interface module is the touchscreen interface to the ETS system. It can be used with any one or more modules available to the system, such as the AFRC or Governor. Each individual module will look like this, with the exception of the ignition. Each module has its own unique end devices. The EIM box will contain the EIM screen, a USB drive, and a wiring sheet. The USB drive is only for documentation and does not need to be plugged into the EIM. The front of the EIM is the touch screen. The back of the EIM has the power communications connection, the optional Modbus connection, and a USB connector. The USB connector is used to download data logs and settings and to perform a software update if needed. The EIM can be mounted with one of two kits. The first option is a panel mount, either in a new or existing panel. When mounting in a panel, the EIM panel mount kit is used, which is shown here. It contains a gasket and nuts for attaching to a panel. Using the dimensions in the install guide, cut a hole in the panel and drill the four corner holes in the appropriate location. If multiple units are being retrofitted, consider asking EMIT for an EIM cutout template, part number 14079. Install the gasket and attach the nuts to the back of the EIM screws to secure the EIM in the panel. If there is not room in a panel for an EIM, the outdoor mount kit shown can be used. This includes a cast aluminum box that is attached to the side or the top of a panel, along with a cover and appropriate hardware. Using the dimensions in the install guide, drill the four holes for mounting the external enclosure. The EIM can then be installed with the provided bolts. The module will be boxed alone with only a wiring diagram. The end devices and harnesses will be packaged separately. Like the EIM, the module can be installed in one of two ways. If mounting in a panel, as shown, the module panel mount kit is used. This kit includes a piece of DIN rail, DIN rail feet, and DIN rail stops. If there is not a piece of free DIN rail in the panel, use the included segment by drilling two holes and attaching to an appropriate location in the panel. Remove an end cap from the module and slide the two feet onto the back. Make sure to slide them in the same direction. Note that one side of the DIN rail foot has a tab for removing with a screwdriver. Snap both feet into the DIN rail, starting with the side away from the tab. Then snap in the other side. The DIN stops can then be added. Alternatively, the panel mounting one module can be mounted in the EIM outdoor enclosure if the outdoor enclosure is used. This kit includes flange ears and the hardware for attaching in the EIM enclosure. Slide the flange ears into the side of the module. Place the module in the back of the enclosure and use the screws to attach. Note that different sizes of modules will use different holes. After mounting the EIM in modules, the power and communication harness can be routed. This harness has three CAN wires, which are blue, yellow, and green, a power wire, and a ground wire. The wires are color-coded for easy install. Route the wire from the EIM to the module and a wire from the battery or panel power to one end of the network, as shown. If more than one module is used, the wire can be daisy-chained from one module to the next. Whether two, three, or more modules are used, the devices at the end of the communication network should have the red CAN switch terminated in the direction of the arrow. At this point, the end devices and harnesses for the module or modules being installed can be routed. See the install guide for the module in question for more information, since each module is different. After wiring, power up the system by installing the fuses and then turning on the power switch on each module and the EIM. The green
green power light should illuminate by each power switch. After a minute or two, the EIM will boot and any modules present will appear. If a module does not appear, check the power and wiring for that module. The module can now be viewed and configured. Use the password card in the back of the EIM if needed. Thanks for watching. For more information about specific modules, see other videos or our knowledge base at the address below.